Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always good to connect with you for another midweek message. Know that we care for you and we love you and we're praying for you and hope you're staying safe this week. Well, last week with the midweek message, we talked about love and we talked about it from the standpoint of baseball. Baseball, perfect game. We said perfect love is love that loves enemies. Well, I'll tell you what. This week we could talk about football, we could talk about basketball, we could talk about hockey or any other favorite sport, but let's talk about music. What's your favorite band? Or what's your favorite kind of music? When I was young, in the days of my youth, one of my favorite bands was a band called Boston. I'll give you three guesses as to where that band was formed. That's right, they were formed out of Boston. I'm still waiting for a band called Muskegon, by the way, that'd be really cool. But Boston was uh, made up of some guys named uh, Brad Delp and Tom Schultz. They played some great music. They loved to put rocket ships on the covers of their album. And one of my favorite Boston songs was called More Than a Feeling. Got that song stuck in your head now? Yeah, it'll be there all day long, sure. Well, when we think of love, last week talking, of course, about what perfect love is and loving enemies, how would you define love? If I asked you to explain love to someone close to you, what words and phrases would you use to define love? Well, I'll tell you, the world around us would say that love is a feeling, just like the old Boston song, or that love is an emotion. Love is an emotion, it's a positive feeling in our hearts. Uh, whenever we feel good about someone, we, we say we love someone or we love something, that means that we have positive feelings about them, they mean a lot to us, that's what we normally think of when we think of love. But friends, you should know that when the Bible uses the word love, the Bible doesn't think of it as an emotion. See, the Bible's not really in the emotions business because emotions can be fragile and emotions can change over time. So when the Bible says that God loves us, the Bible doesn't want you to think that God just has positive feelings towards you because honestly, feelings change over time. And you don't want your relationship with God to be based upon some positive feeling that God has for you today. I mean, that could change tomorrow. Love changes sometimes, at least in an earthly sense. No, no, no. When the Bible says that God loves us, the Bible means that God has made a decision. See, biblically speaking, love is not an emotion. Love is a decision. Love is a commitment. In the Bible, when it says that God loves us, it doesn't mean that God has positive feelings towards us, although he certainly does. It means that God has made a decision to place our needs and wants and desires ahead of his own. When the Bible tells us that Jesus loved us and gave his life for us, it doesn't mean that Jesus had positive feelings towards us. It means that Jesus placed our needs, our wants, and our desires ahead of his own, he committed himself to that, and then gave his life for us. Friends, marriage is not simply built on feelings, although there are strong feelings there as well. When you marry someone and make your vows with someone, you're making a commitment, you're making a decision. That's where the real strength in love is, not just in the feelings. So when you say that you love God, love Jesus, or when you say that you love people, you're certainly wanting to do something more than have a positive emotion toward them. Instead, friends, you're making a commitment. And that's what Christ-like love looks like. Love is a decision. Love is a commitment to place the needs, wants, and desires of another person ahead of our own. That's a very Christ-like love. Friends, may you love like Jesus loved, and may the body of Christ be a body of love always. Friends, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great week. Just take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Know that we love you. We're praying for you too. God bless. Bye-bye.